I could say, if I really loved someone who'd been sentenced to prison, if I could find a way of saying I'd serve your sentence, I'd try and do it. I could do what Sidney Carton does in A Tale of Two Cities, if you like. I'm very un unlikely to do this unless you've been incredibly sweet to me. I take a place on the scaffold, but I can't take away your responsibilities. I can't forgive what you did. I can't say you didn't do it. I can't make you washed clean. The name for that in primitive Middle Eastern society was, was scapegoating. You pile the sins of the tribe on a goat, you drive that goat into the desert to die of thirst and hunger, and you think you've taken away the sins of the tribe. A positively immoral doctrine that abolishes the concept of personal responsibility on which all ethics and all morality must depend. It has a further implication. I'm told that I have to have a share in this human sacrifice, even though it took place long before I was born. I had no say in it happening. I wasn't consulted about it. Had I been present, I would have been bound to do my best to stop the public torture and execution of an eccentric preacher. I would do the same even now. No, no, I'm implicated in it. I myself drove in the nails. I was present at Calvary. It confirms the original filthy sin in which I was conceived and born the sin of Adam and Genesis. Again, this may sound a mad belief, but it is the Christian belief. Well, it's uh, here that we find something very sinister about monotheism and about religious practice in general. It is incipiently at least, and I think often explicitly, totalitarian. I have no say in this. I am born under a celestial dictatorship which I could not have had any hand in choosing. I don't put myself under its government. I am told that it can watch me while I sleep. I'm told that it can convict me of, here's the definition of totalitarianism, thought crime for what I think I may be convicted and condemned. And that if I commit a right action, it's only to evade this punishment. And if I commit a wrong action, I'm going to be uh, caught up not just with punishment in life for what I've done, which often follows axiomatically, but no. But even after I'm dead, <clears throat> in the Old Testament, gruesome as it is, recommending as it is of genocide, racism, tribalism, slavery, genital mutilation, the displacement and destruction of others, terrible as the Old Testament uh, gods are, they don't promise to punish the dead. There's no talk of torturing you after the earth has closed over the Amalekites. Only till when gentle Jesus, meek and mild, makes his appearance are those who won't accept the message told they must depart into everlasting fire. Is this morality? Is this ethics? I submit not only is it not, not only does it come with the false promise of vicarious redemption, but it is the origin of the totalitarian principle which has been such a burden and shame to our species uh, for so long.